Hello. George? Yep. You better be careful, love. I just heard on the radio some fool was driving the wrong way up the freeway. Don't I know it. But I'll tell you, it's not just one. There's hundreds of them. A new warning this morning about mobile phones. Our next guest claims using them while driving may be as dangerous as drink driving. Dr Paul Trefner is from Queensland's Griffith University. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. As bad as drink driving, on what are you, are you basing that comparison? Well, that's really not our research. That's University of Toronto's research from about four years ago where they compared the time of accidents and the time of mobile phone usage and they found and concluded that there was an increased chance of a likelihood, sorry, an increased likelihood of an accident of about four times if using a mobile phone while driving. And there was no difference between handheld and hands-free phones. So that was, that's previous research that just showed that there's a relationship. And would you agree with that finding? Well, we don't know yet. We're going to do research looking at actual driving around the driving track. So we're collaborating with the Holden Performance Driving Centre and we're using real cars on a real track to look at the control of the car, seeing what the driver is doing and what the responses of the car are during manoeuvres such as cornering, swerving and recovering, braking, these sorts of components of everyday driving. We're going to look at the, for the first time, we're going to look at the actual control of the vehicle while speaking on a phone. All right, and I mean, the, the, the dangers of, of uh, a handheld phone, of course, are obvious, but you have concerns about hands-free kits as well, don't you? Well, this previous research has, shown, has not shown any difference between the two kinds of phones. So we're going to just focus on the hands-free type of phone. We believe that it's not so much using the phone with your fingers that matters, it's more the matter of attention. It's really a psychological issue as to how one can drive, how one can pay attention to the road, detect the relevant information and respond and act appropriately in terms of controlling the vehicle. So attention is the main, lack of attention is the main problem for accidents. That's fairly well accepted. If you look at any intersection, there's glass usually everywhere, and the broken glass is due to lack of attention, which led to the accident, typically, rather than high speeds at the intersection. So one of the main problems with attention on the road is things like mobile phones. All right, well, we look forward to seeing the outcome of your research, Dr. Paul Trefner. Thank you very much for joining us. Sure, thank you serious safety concerns about the use of mobile phones while driving. Researchers are likening the practice to drink driving, even if the mobile is in a hands-free kit. The Griffith University study will be the most advanced to date. Special sensory equipment and global positioning systems will monitor lane placement speed and driver reaction times while motorists using hands-free mobile phones engage in exercises to test their concentration. 100, 97, 94. There's been a number of studies that have been done in simulators but not very much done in the real world using a real car on a real road. Previous studies have found you're four times more likely to have an accident while talking on a mobile, even using a hands-free set, making it just as risky as drink driving. The study should be complete by mid next year. If the findings confirm what researchers suspect, it could prompt a complete ban on mobile phone use while driving. I wouldn't be surprised personally if legislation eventually banned all phone usage and that possibly would be um, a benefit to, to safety on the roads. On the Gold Coast, Angela Cox, 7 News. You're back with 10 News. There's a new warning for mobile phone users. A Queensland University study has found using hands-free kits is not as safe as first thought. We find that talking on the phone changes the coordination of driving. Researchers studied the highest risk group, drivers under the age of 25. They were all judged on their ability to take a corner, how they approached traffic lights and how well they avoided obstacles whilst talking on a hands-free kit. Those studies together are revealing that talking on a mobile phone, a hands-free phone, is a bad idea. It just makes me less aware, really. Um, yeah, if there was a pro wouldn't I don't think it'd actually make me crash, but if there was a problem, I wouldn't uh, respond as quick. Because the sound quality of a hands-free kit is so poor, researchers also found that many drivers are simply trying to hear what's being said, rather than concentrating on what's going on around them. I have traffic in that, and 
depends what car you're driving and such. So um, so yeah, the quality's nothing crash hot. Given the amount of research now on mobile phones. Um, governments and legislation should take seriously such results and possibly consider restricting the use of a phone. Chloe Baker, 10 News. Welcome back to Nine's Gold Coast News, live from Surfers Paradise. A Griffith University study has reinforced the claim that using a hands-free mobile phone while driving is dangerous. The research found reaction times slowed by one quarter of a second. Our evidence is, is, uh, is now contributing to about 20 to 30 other studies worldwide. Those studies together are revealing that talking on a mobile phone, a hands-free phone, is a bad idea. For the first time in Australia, the effects of talking hands-free were tested in real on-road conditions. The results? Drivers were distracted, had slower reaction times and tended to misjudge distances. When one is on the phone, it is harder to notice that when things are getting bigger and bigger, they're getting closer and closer. There's also concern about the growing popularity of text messaging, particularly with young drivers. A recent studies in Australia have shown that uh, up to 30% of the population send text messages on a mobile phone while driving. New evidence today on the dangers of using a mobile phone while at the wheel. The first Australian study based on real driving conditions shows using a hands-free mobile dramatically increases the risk of an accident. Conducted by the Griffith University and Holden, mobile phones led to poor driving, even when used hands-free. Drivers went too fast around corners and braked harder when trying to stop suddenly. When avoiding an obstacle, they braked instead of slowing down as advised, increasing the risk of a rear-end collision. When one is on the phone, it is harder to notice that when things are getting bigger and bigger, they're getting closer and closer. That's the kind of optical information that we essentially become blind to when our attention is elsewhere. Researchers also measured the effects of different kinds of phone conversations on driving. That the so-called easy conversation of repeating back the words, the numbers, was the more difficult one. The study confirms previous findings that driving and using a hands-free mobile phone is dangerous and it adds weight to calls for a total ban on drivers using phones. I really think, yeah, that, that having them in the car or working in the car whilst you're moving along is, is potentially very, very dangerous. So, yeah, I think we need to look very carefully at uh, legislation to, uh, to stop that. Tracy Chaloner, 7 News. Also, mobile phones in cars, handheld, hands-free, disturbing new evidence on exactly how dangerous they are now. Well, after seeing this next story, you might just think again. You see, new research shows using a hands-free kit can actually be more dangerous than drink driving. He's in control of a massive semi-trailer and engrossed in seemingly just as heavy a conversation on his mobile phone. But watch this driver as he changes hands to change gears, then back again. And like many other talkative drivers, he's about to feel the full weight of the law. It is very dangerous. Ultimately, if they get caught, they will be losing their licence. It's prompted a crackdown across the country. A police blitz on driving with a handheld phone, where small talk can cost big bucks. In Queensland, the penalties have only weeks ago been increased. If you're caught now, it'll cost $225 and three points. Just behind New South Wales, where it's a $226 fine and three points. In the ACT, it's $220 and three points. In Victoria, the fine is $135 and it'll still cost three points off your licence. In Western Australia and Tasmania, the fine is around $100 and two points. While in South Australia and the Northern Territory, there's no effect on your licence, just a fine. This is an offence, it's a very serious offence and it contributes to uh, serious injury accidents. Or even worse. Uh, <laughs> we're now half a car length into the back of a bus or a truck. <laughs> The latest research has found that driving while under the influence of a mobile phone conversation is the same as driving drunk. 
if you're driving using a mobile phone, you're effectively driving in the same manner as you would be if you were over the legal limit. That distraction by using the phone while you're driving creates reaction time delays in relation to your manner of handling the motor vehicle, which is equivalent to uh, a 0.08 percentage of uh, alcohol in your blood. Is the conversation really worth you know, someone's car or someone's life. Steve Mackey knows only too well the impact a driver on a mobile phone can have. He was stopped at a red light when his car was slammed into. The offending driver was on the phone. There definitely would have been a fatality if there were people in the back seats. I'm positive. The talker was also drunk. You could say that, you know, with the mobile thing being 0.08 and the drunk thing, he would have been pretty smashed. The accident has cost Steve over $7,000 and he reckons all mobile phones, handheld or hands-free, should not be used in cars. I'm wary whenever I see people on their phones anyway, um, just because they drive erratically. Like you see them kind of, you know, the car moves, swerves and things like that. It's not, they're not um, driving as someone who's just completely focused on the road would, in my opinion. His opinion seems to be spot on. Basically what the study showed is that it didn't, ma it didn't matter whether it was a hands-free or a handheld kit, the risk was still just the same. Used a specially wired computer equipped car to test driver's skills while on the phone. Something like a motoring lie detector test. We can measure steering angle, we can measure acceleration, we can measure the amount of brake pressure they're putting on and more importantly how hard they're actually applying the brake pedal. So really it means that the driver can't tell us any fibs because the car will download all that information and we'll know exactly what they did and when they did it. I was a fair bit when I drive. People, you know, if people call, I'll just answer, I won't pull over or anything. I'd rather hold up to my ear and that way I'll notice when my hands up. The research team recorded the driver's responses without any conversation. Then testees like Lauren and Jason were phoned and engaged in simple algorithm type conversations. Two, four, six, nine. Nine, six. I think the results of these tests were dramatic. According to Russell White, in all cases, the driving patterns changed drastically, many dangerously. Twelve. <laughs> Was that the right answer? <laughs> One dead person. <laughs> but what it showed is that drivers who are on a mobile phone are basically braking later, braking harder, and they're arriving at corners going too fast. <laughs> keep Bye. going. Keep going. Think twice about speaking on the phone while you're driving. Definitely. <laughs> It's now one of those things that people just need to recognise. If the phone rings, don't answer it. We all know it's illegal to drive holding a mobile phone to our ear, but police say the problem is still growing, and they say it's more dangerous than previously thought. As Rory O'Connor's found, we should pull over before we're pulled over, or even worse. Mobile phones may have revolutionised our world, but to police, like Sergeant Nick Gouldstone, they're a nightmare. We've noticed an increase in the amount of accidents at uh, certain intersections in particular. Drivers dialing out, taking calls and even texting means they aren't concentrating on what they're doing and the statistics show it. Inattention is a very big cause of accidents on the road these days. And it's not just the police saying that. We asked a world expert in motion visualisation, Paul Trefner, how bad mobile phones really are. And the evidence he's unearthed is horrifying. It's remarkable that being on the mobile phone is actually worse than being drunk in terms of stopping distance. You heard that correctly. Even drunk drivers stop faster than phone users. Paul heads a unit at Griffith University's Gold Coast campus. Using in-field testing and advanced computer simulations, he says phone use affects every aspect of our driving. So the braking is not as smooth and as regular as without the conversation. Which can all add up to catastrophe. The stopping distance there translates to a serious collision if there was an object that had to be stopped before. Now the police are cracking down and getting craftier. At this roadside blitz, a plainclothes police observer radios culprits to his waiting colleagues. Any lawful reason for that? No, just taking a quick call. Have your license there, please. 
On Logan Road, just one police spotter can nab a phone bandit every six minutes, and it's getting worse. We're finding a lot more people are um, not opting for the hands-free uh, kits in the car. The penalty is a $75 fine, but no points lost. Renee Monreal admits she's a serial offender. Three fines and two warnings. That's more than $200 she's shelled out for using the phone. But she's not the only one who's acting illegally. Yeah, I have, unfortunately. A few times I've been doing it, but, um, yeah, I haven't been caught yet. Jeremy Irving is the same. Then halfway down the road you think, well, I should be putting it on a hands-free by about now, and sometimes it's a bit late. <laughs> but like many phone users, he argues it doesn't affect his driving. I don't think it affects my driving. No, I don't think it affects my driving. I suppose with manual drives it probably would, because they have to change gears, but not really with automatic. Sergeant Goulstone believes that even hands-free car kits aren't the answer. People on the other end of the line will keep talking, oblivious to the hazards the driver is facing, compromising safety. Hands-free kits are an option, but I still personally believe that they're not as safe as pulling out to the side of the road and getting clear of all traffic. So if you think mobile phones don't affect your driving, just try this simple test. Point at something and then tilt your head, like you're on a phone or you're listening to a car speakerphone. And you'll notice you're no longer pointing in the same direction. Now, the police know phones affect our navigation and that's why they're clamping down. But they warn the battle's about to get hotter with the appearance of video phones. I think that's def definitely a detrimental step as far as driving goes. People are going to be looking at visual information here while trying to notice visual information out there where it matters. And this is certainly a further recipe for disaster. Rory O'Connor there and get the hands free set or pull over the even better option.